I used to really struggle with the concept of being alone. I still do. Of course, when I was younger, it was much worse. It was like I was brainwashed by society's need to push romantic pairings onto others. It's all over the media. We see it in every movie and television series. The romantic shipping of characters in a non-romantic form of media. Then there are marriages, which are large and lavish celebrations. Yes, they are wonderful. But if you're anything like me, weddings, holidays, and traditions like Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve's Midnight Kiss make the pressure of finding another person so much greater. Not to mention the cultural influences on many women like me. The women in my family are expected to be married and want to have children. But what if you're not sure? While circumstances for women are changing, there are still traditional expectations prevalent in society. It is no wonder why being in a relationship was everything to me when I was younger. It is why I cling to the idea of one so tightly. That expectation is embedded in my subconscious mind. When I was younger, if I wasn't on the hunt to find my better half, I was constantly surrounding myself with the company of so-called friends. I wasn't even sure I liked. I realized that I was only running from myself. I didn't like the idea of being alone. It felt foreign to me. That led me to do some research as to why some people just can't seem to stand being alone. I find that it is due to the lack of experience of being alone. Some people might not be used to being by themselves because they are so accustomed to being around other people. That sudden absence or loss of social stimulation can leave them feeling detached or disconnected. This was true for me. When I got out of a relationship, the absence of that person hit me so hard. I felt like I needed to rush and find someone else to fill that void, but in reality, no one can fill that void. No one but myself. Continuing to cling to the possibility of that type of love only builds negative attachments. No sane person can expect the love of someone else to transmute into self-love. That has to come from within. It begins alone, as we all begin our journey in life. Alone. There is no shame in solitude. This I am teaching myself daily. Through self-love practices, giving back to myself, filling my own cup, doing things that I love doing, not for anyone else, but out of pure enjoyment and interest. So here I am, I'm back on YouTube, the place where I have felt called to share my voice with those who may be struggling with similar mental obstacles in their lives. This vlog is about finding peace and knowing that you aren't alone. Even when you are.